This is the iPhone 3GS. It's a 16 gig white um capacity. It's just you know, it's the iPhone 3GS, which is great. So let's take a look at iOS 4, formerly known as iPhone OS, which I prefer the name of that better, even though this isn't really um just the iPhone OS anymore. It also runs on the iPod Touch and the iPad. So we're gonna take a look at iPhone. No, iOS 4. This is the GMC, something may be subject to change, but you don't need your UDID of your phone to activate this, and it does not have an expiration date. I can test that by putting the date to set it so it will go manually, and then um, changing the date till something really far. So, slide one lock is all familiar, enter your passcode. That is also familiar, but what is this? It's jailbroken. Nah, it's not. This is actually some of the new features of iPhone OS 4 allow you to change your background. So, I'm going to open up Mail and show you that because that was one of the talked about features. See, all inboxes, we can have a unified inbox now and stuff. I don't know where the thread is, but, you know, I don't know how the thread thing works. But then again, I don't really reply to people's emails, so that might be why, but... That's pretty cool. Now I can just go home and uh, launch settings because I want to show you what's different in the settings app. First off, you have multitasking, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, going down to wallpaper will allow you to change wallpaper, but I'll get to that in a moment. Let's go to general. Um, about and usage are still exactly the same. No change. Clicking on network or tapping on network. Enable 3G, and you can even turn on and off cellular data. So if I turn cellular data on, and I'm not connected to a network, or a Wi-Fi network, but I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network, so I'm not affected here. You can turn it on and off. So I'll turn it off, and I'll turn 3G off. Now all I can do on my phone is make calls. Internet tethering is new. This pinwheel hasn't stopped spinning since I updated. Well, ever since I tapped it. Either way, when you tap on this internet tethering option, you can call AT&T or visit the website or cancel. So you can't actually turn tethering on without making changes to your account. Sadly, we're on prepaid, so too bad for us. VPN, Wi-Fi, all the same. Bluetooth, you can now use a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, pair it up with an Apple Bluetooth keyboard and you're good to go. Location services, you can now turn on or off location services for apps like camera and other apps that will ask you. I only have several apps installed. Spotlight search, pretty cool. Nothing major. Auto lock, you can change that. It's always been that way. Enter your passcode. If you're someone you want to have a simple passcode or not, now I have to enter a little passcode. Um, zero. Yeah, I don't want to. Boo. Change your passcode and make it a tough passcode with digits instead of or letters and digits, but that's fine because I'm happy. Uh, restrictions, those seem to be the same. Allowed content is now going for in app purchases, though. The keyboard is um, all the same. International keyboard, you can add a new keyboard and change it and modify your existing one, though that's new. Never been that way. International. Accessibility seems... Oh, you triple-click the home button now. That's... No, that actually had been there. Excuse me in advance for that. And, of course, you can reset, which will reset home screen layout. And will reset location. So, let's go home. And let's get work done. I'm going to check the weather. But see, I don't want to have to go home again, and then tap on Safari, and then when I'm like, oh no, I want to check on my mail. This is becoming a real pain in the rear end. Thankfully, in iPhone 4, it's called multitasking. Third-party apps actually have to uh, add the API, but the default apps are already like this. So I just double-tap the home button, like this, and you'll notice, what is this? Well, this is a weird taskbar thing, so now I can just... Jump right back to Safari. Go to settings. No. And so let's double click it again. 
Now, see, this is like Facebook. Facebook, you know, I've got to start up from scratch again. Or at least it seems that way. Apps like FML. At least start up from scratch. So, this is pretty cool. Multitasking. Only available on the third generation iPod Touch or iPhone 3GS. And YouTube. Let's take a look at what's new on YouTube. Play a video. I think you can also play it in portrait mode. Just what I've heard. But see, I actually did something. I did the lock, so you can't actually change it. See this lock? Isn't this the coolest thing you'll ever see? With that little lock button allows you to do it if you... You can lock it into portrait orientation. Yeah, so you can play YouTube like this now. stuff so this is pretty nice now as you notice when we launch safari for some people it becomes a real pain but see look at it's all much smoother now but you know i'm laying on my bed i lay on my bedside like this i prefer it to be up like that so what can you do well if it's in this mode already it doesn't matter you just double click on this and you use your phone navigate back here see this button it will automatically unlock it when you tap it into portrait orientation you can tap that or double click to get rid of it so that means i can lay in my bed and browse the web right on my phone and not have that annoying thing apps like facebook typically when you have this portrait portrait thing unlocked you can rotate it into landscape this is really annoying so let's see if that was an api that had to add or not no so now when I use Facebook, it will always be like that. And same for every other app. Messages, now like that. You know, so this is a real big, big deal. I mean, I really appreciate it that they could add this for me. So, keep it unlocked for now. Open up iPod. Let's take a look at a bug. So right ahead of the bug, you'll notice a slightly new user interface. Here, play the song. Play the music video. So I'm playing a song. Scrub. Like always. My favorite part of the song. Now on for a bug. Just watch this. Oh, it's working now. It didn't start at the beginning. Gloria. So it's 10 seconds into it. 13 seconds. It should be starting at the beginning. I don't know why it doesn't start at the beginning. So, that is a bug that I noticed. It's also very on Apple, like here. TV, you can get rid of them. But it's not as simple as maybe holding them down and dragging them out of there. You actually have to press this button. You actually have to press on that orange, or that thing, which is kind of, um, not Apple. Like, you'd expect something like this it would be just simplicity and you would drag your finger so uh, this is part one of two demos we'll be doing for iPhone 4